I haven't played the other Contras in a long time. I might run Contra Rebirth. It's a Wii exclusive game for the Wii that's downloaded only. Or I believe the Virtual Console or whatever they call it. WiiWare. I'm actually... I actually wouldn't mind running the Castlevania for Super Nintendo. The only thing I can come up with is that the game is extremely optimized. The people who run it are really good. Like, they, they purposely take damage to get further in the level. Like, that's how optimized it is. And second of all, it's fairly um, a long run for any percent. It's like 30 something minutes, I believe. Oh, I love damage boosting. I do it all the time in Ang Angry Video Game Nerd 2 speedrun. Although I don't really know what I'm doing most of the time. I usually just trying to walk through enemies. Night runs. You know the world record holder. I believe he's the world record holder. Rom Scout? No, Mecha Richter. Man. They're like insane. Insanely good. Rom Scout does the. Uh, I believe the DS Castlevania games. Portrait of Ruin and something Sorrow, Area of Sorrow? No, that's the GBA one. Dawn of Sorrow. Portrait of Ruin is super glitchy. It's the one where you control like two different characters. Honestly, I wouldn't mind playing Symphony of the Night, like, just casually. Yeah, I thought they were shutting down Nazgoth. Didn't we talk about this? And I told you about how my friend works for Crystal Dynamics. And I mentioned, like, a potential Legacy of Kane game in the future. I think we talked about it. Or it could have been someone else. I actually never... freaking heck! I never played Nazga. I don't play MOBAs. I don't mind playing games that have the potential to be addictive, that have no end. That's just dangerous for me. That's how I played Splatoon for four months. future ones. Well, <clears throat> I believe what they're, I believe Tomb Raider, the one that came out a few years ago, the reboot, was Tomb Raider 9, as they refer to it, and no, Tomb Raider 10 maybe, and they refer to Rise as 11. From what he told me, 12 is being worked on by another studio, and they're working on 13. So it could be. It could be he divvied out to another studio. 
I actually never really got into the series. For some reason, the first Legacy, like Soul Reaver, the camera made me sick for some reason. I don't know why. I kept getting sick every time I played it. I get motion sickness with very select few games. I do want to play Blood Omen 1 because I think it's top down where I can probably play it and it looks kind of fun. I never played Blood Omen 2. Not much, just chatting about Legacy of Cain and games and stuff. There used to be a guy that would show up, I can't remember his name, and I know he's from one of the Slavic countries in Europe, and he told me I should speedrun Blood Omen because he's the only one that does it, but I can't find many videos on Blood Omen people speed running it, so I'm not sure what he's talking about. Blood Omen 2 is garbage. From what I remember the reviews were fairly average. And it was one of those games that would get sevens, seven for review scores. Like Blood Rain. I'm satisfied with this time so far. 20 and a half minutes isn't terrible, I think. Actually, I don't know. Or on Gauntlet 8. Comparison to Soul Reaver is terrible. I really wanted to enjoy the story of Soul Reaver, but like I said, I got sick and by trying to play one, but I thought one was really cool. I tried playing Defiance on the PC, and I don't know, it seemed like the gameplay kind of aged oddly. It was a lot of weird, like super simple puzzles, and combat whereas you entered a room and you fought a bunch of enemies and you had to defeat them in order to get out of the room, I was like, kind of annoying. I mean, I know Half-Life 2 does that. They put you in a room with a bunch of enemies and you have to kill them all. I don't know. I don't know. platformers are. I don't know, it was hard to describe it. I just... Well, to be fair, I'm not a big fan of 3D platformers. <laughs> so, there's that too. Don't get me wrong, I like some 3D platformers, but... I'm definitely going to play a 2D platformer over a 3D platformer. It's a little earlier than I normally defeat that phase.
make it utterly useless. Twenty four fifty two ain't bad. Let's see. Yeah, I was pretty close to world record for this category. I'll take it. I'm satisfied. I mean, I really enjoy Metroid games. I even enjoyed Metroid Prime. Well, the first and third one. I didn't like the second one. Speedster Award. 